If you're traveling to Puerto Vallarta for the first time, you will have some doubts, especially concerning money. Although many businesses accept dollars, the peso is still king, so it's better to have some pesos with you. And in this video, we will give you some tips on where to get the best exchange rate. Let's get started! 1. Use the ATM The best way to get pesos for your trip is to use your ATM card at the airport. Before leaving home, let your bank know that you will be using your ATM card in the Puerto Vallarta area and the dates of your trip. If you don't inform your bank, you will most likely not to be able to access your money while you're in Mexico. Check with your local bank to see if they have any association with a Mexican bank, to avoid additional fees. For example, Citibanamex has a relationship with US Citigroup and Scotiabank is associated with Bank of America. So at the ATM, you should be able to withdraw up to 6,000 pesos or approximately 300 US dollars at a time, depending on the ATM and usually you just pay a service of $1.5 per transaction from the Mexican host bank, plus the fee your bank charges for the withdrawal. Oh, and when the ATM asks you if you would like to accept their exchange rate, click Decline. You should always decline their conversion offer and process the transaction normally. 2. Bank We do not recommend bringing large amounts of dollars in cash. Many Mexican banks make the currency exchange only if you have an account in pesos, and as a tourist you probably do not have one. So a good option is go to Banco Azteca, which are located inside the electric stores. These stores sell appliances and home furnishing, but they also offer banking services. This is a good option because the hours of operation are longer than those of common banks and they even provide service on weekends. And don't forget to bring your passport to complete the transaction. 3. Exchange Houses It is often more convenient to exchange money at an exchange house. These companies are open long hours, they generally don't have long lines and offer comparable exchange rates. Although many banks may offer a slightly better rate, you will save some time here, since they can be found throughout the Banderas Bay region, so make it super easy to change the currency to Mexican pesos. And as in a bank, you must show your passport when exchanging money. 4. Pay with your credit card When paying with a credit card, you will receive a very good exchange rate and the process of looking for a bank or an exchange house will be avoided. Always ask first if the establishment accepts credit cards, since some of the local restaurants only accept cash. A good tip is to go to the big stores like Walmart or Anoxo and buy your stuff with credit card. And ask for the change in pesos. The exchange rate will be better than in banks or exchange houses, and you will save time changing pesos while you shop. Don't forget to contact your credit card company before you travel, so they do not block your credit card when you use it in Puerto Vallarta and give you a phone number for lost cars that work in Mexico. Extra tip, send money for a moneygram. This is an option to have an emergency mattress in case you don't want to use your credit card abroad. Send the money to yourself using moneygram. You can do this online or go into your local Walmart and open an account to send money. You can withdraw your money in pesos at any Guadalajara pharmacy, Walmart, Banco Azteca and many other places. You can send yourself multiple moneygrams and retire money when you need it during your trip for up one year. And if you don't use all the money, don't worry. Once at home, you can get your money back in dollars if you don't claim it in Mexico. When you send money, they will give you a receipt with an 8-digit number. Keep it a secret and don't let anyone try to get your information. If you lose the number or give it to someone else, you will never be able to get your money back. Be careful when writing the receipt's name, it must match the identification you show when collecting the money. And remember that the exchange rate varies every day. If you stay as long, be aware of the exchange rate and if you find a good offer, don't let it pass. You don't know when it could be repeated. I hope these tips help you to plan your trip. Have you been to Puerto Vallarta before? What advice do you have for your fellow travelers? Let us know everything in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. See you soon!